Hi friends, welcome to MS Concrete Part 17. Today's topic is Carbonation of Concrete. As we know that NDT, testing of concrete, is widely used in construction materials. However, the manner in which it is presently prepared and used to form structures leaves many things to be desired. This may mostly attributed to lack of proper quality control of supervision during the course of construction. Often, safety and durability of structures are not given adequate consideration by permitting poor quality of construction. When one builds a structure, it has to be performed satisfactorily over the reasonable expected life. Keeping the above in view, NDT resting becomes necessary in many situations where the quality of build structure is in doubt. NDT measures parameters of concrete which are correlated to the strength and integrity of concrete status of steel in RCC and durability. It is to borne in mind that the result of NDT should be interpreted with other facts and details of the structure and the judicial conclusion arrived at the determining the cost of course action. It requires considerably experience for both performing and the test and interpretation. NDT can help in getting a measure of in place strength of concrete in structure, establishing homogeneity of concrete in the structure, detection of cracks, voids, and other imperfections, monitoring changes in concrete with passage of time, assess the condition of steel reinforcement with respect of corruption, assess the bond between the steel and concrete. This information helps in deciding the course of action for structure in distress, uncertain conditions, and resolving contextual disputes. Carbonation depth Carbonation is chemical reaction between COH2 and CO2 of the atmosphere, CA lime soluble in insoluble, where the pH is varies from 12 to 13. Carbonation destroys passive protection provided by concrete to the reinforcement. Carbonation proceeds from the surface into the concrete. When depth of carbonation equals concrete cover, reinforcement corrosion is eminent. Testing is undertaken by applying a phenylpethylene solution to a freshly fractured and freshly cut surface of concrete. Non-carbonated areas turn red or purple while carbonated areas remain colorless. The penetration indicator when observed against hardened paste changes color at a pH of 9 to 9.5. The pH of good quality carbonated concrete without admixture is usually greater than 12.5. Some of the pictures when exposed surface in early stage comes under carbonation zone and carbonation progression, how to CO2 comes under carbonation process, spray 0.2% solution of phenylpathylene, concrete exposed to CO2 and carbonated concrete. Carbonation is understood to be time dependent, however, carbonation damage cannot be predicted based on age of the structure. While there were no marked Trends in carbonation depth versus building orientation for any individual city. Carbonation generally tended to be greatest of the south side and least on the north side. That's the end of MS Concrete Pass 17 slide. Please don't forget to like, share, and comment and subscribe. Thank you.